you. But if you are just in the edge of the mat and somebody pushes you out without an attack, then it is pushing out. We come to the final of the under 57 kilo category. Helene Rosovo of France faces Matsumoto Kari of Japan. It's Rosovo in the white jirogi, Matsumoto in blue. Vladimir Nitka will be in charge of the final contest of today. Well, it doesn't get any harder, does it? Yeah. You're up against the current world and Olympic champion. <laughs> Matsumoto, the assassin. Yes, the Kaori. assassin is on the map. <laughs> she didn't sign the autograph thing today. Disappointed? Well, we were in the warm-up area and, you know, <laughs> she's probably trying to get ready for her fight and everything. You know, it's... I don't, I don't think you expect to sign autographs in the warm-up area. That's not You're the right. place, is it? So yep, that's right. So, no, I don't, um, I don't feel disappointed. Good. <laughs> I shouldn't be, have been in there with the autograph paper. But the children were perfectly happy with the autographs that they did get. Five Olympic champions were on that little wow. Olympic yeah. sheet. And four of the German team, Jasmin Kulms, Dimitri Peters, mm. Andre Breitbart, and Mark Udenthal. Mm -hmm. They were all on there. And five Olympic champions. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, by the way... <laughs> we, had, we had a little competition to see who would win it. And this nine-year-old girl came up the winner. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it was just for children. It was only, <laughs> yeah. only the children. She correctly identified... Mm. Between the children, yeah. ...this technique, Ippon Seonagi. So mm -hmm. It was a very nice little <laughs> effort. Rosovo avoided getting involved on the ground the first time round, and she's had a look and then thought, no, <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll leave that. <laughs> Matsumoto just coming under that attack from Rosovo. She really wants to get a hand off there. That was good. That was good work from Rosovo. Got the attacks in once the arm was over on that side and then when it wasn't materialising, she got the hand back over. Mm -hmm. So she avoided picking up a penalty. Whew. Yeah, she That's really... Yeah, nice effort there. Yeah, makes it difficult for, for Matsumoto. Actually, Rosovo is... Um, place number nine, a few places on concerning the world ranking yeah. list before Autumn Pavia. Also interesting <laughs> battle between both of them, I could imagine, well for the Olympics. She's going to pick up more points here. Yeah. Let's see how the qualification is. is. Yeah. She's got a bit, bit of a battle on her hands here with avoiding <laughs> the Osaikomi. She hasn't been able to. And yep. Matsumoto with the Kuzuri Kamishogatami and Rosovo's out of it now. And manages to avoid giving up a score as well. So, well done to her. But Matsumoto's still working in Niwaza, looking for a turnover. Oh, there yeah. There it is. Which she, di she did now. So difficult to yeah. get out. You have a good control above the neck and the head. And that's it. Oh dear. <laughs> Matsumoto it is who wins out over Elaine Rosovo. Look at the time. Unlucky for some. Nelson. Nelson strikes again. Nelson there you time. go. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Matsumoto Kari winning out over Helene Rosovo of France. We've got two 
awarding ceremonies to bring you. Before that, we've got some highlights from this contest. Stay with, with us and we'll do a wrap up before the end of the day. When we come back, we'll have the awarding ceremony in the under 66 yes. kilo category. And it'll be Annette Berm to run through all the winners yes. for you. So, a pleasure to present them. Just this little replay from the final. We have just seen Matsumoto against Reservo. And then we're going to start with the medalists in the under 66 kilo category. So there we 